those things are fucking sharp because But the mark of the beast could be like 500 different things, you know. But I find it interesting how many videos there are now of people, you know, relatively normal people, sheep, you know, sheep that have kids and wear makeup and do like makeup tutorials and you know, like regular ass people doing regular ass content, non-controversial content. People that aren't like typically philosophical and, you know, putting up content questioning the reality that we're living in, you know? There are a lot more people doing and the reason why I stress that they're sheep is because it's usually, it's usually, blah, 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 usually non-sheep that do this kind of content. It's usually non-sheep that are the ones to bring up how fucked up the world is and how, uh, the song goes on way too long. I know that's kind of the point of experimental music, but I can still be annoyed, okay? But yeah, so when you have a bunch of non sheep noticing things like the energy of the world. They're mentioning how uncomfortable they are. They're mentioning how they feel dead inside. They're mentioning the utter hopelessness and futility of everything around them. And these are like bubbly, happy-go-lucky, let's live in the moment type of people, okay? Their energy, that, that false narrative that they've been telling themselves, is crumbling and they're uncomfortable enough to notice that and do a whole video about it but people have mentioned different times when these like energy shifts have occurred now, I don't think that they call it an energy shift, but that's what it is. But it's through technology. They want to talk about politics and different things that have happened, but it's really because of the technology. Because I've noticed that people have mentioned different time frames. So they mentioned 2020, they mentioned 2010. heard people, you know, older people like me that would say that it happened in like 2000. So really it was 2001. 
one that changed everything because of you know what. But when the new millennium came about, you know, there there was a lot of expectation there. You know, people thought that, that the world was going to end. All the computers were going to crash. You know, there were all these predictions. But I wish the computers had crashed. <laughs> I wish that all of that had been destroyed. But instead it just amped up, did it not? And so all these world events, I think, are directly tied to the technology that they released back in time. So, um, when people talk about things changing, you know, with the passing decade, um, I think they're feeling something that they're not, they're not aware of. It's gotten so bad that these people have to talk about it now. And I said that this was going to happen because of the smartphones. I said that people weren't going to see it. People weren't going to see it and until it was something that they could not see, you know? And, and then they would have to talk about it. But. It's like people can't see the common denominator. So they have to talk about like all these these little things that, that occur. You know? That's why these petty ass people are so obsessed with the drama of the internet. Because they're uh, they're not interesting people, okay? And you know to be crazy is to be interesting and not look at things from the same lens as everybody else. But they've capitalized on that too. They've capitalized on different. And now they've capitalized on crazy. And as, as much as I advocate for the DIY approach, I don't think that the TikTok diagnosis is really what I was referring to. But the fact that people think that they can invite anything into their life without that thing having consequences is so ignorant, arrogant, and incompetent it makes my head spin. I mean, the, the thing with smartphones and that that's what people don't want to accept. That they made a mistake. Now, I have seen more and more videos with Zoomers of course it's Zoomers that are educating people on how to break phone addiction and social media addiction and all that. Now, a lot of them are saying that you don't have to delete your social media apps and you don't have to get rid of your smartphone. Um, yeah, I understand that. There are a lot of people that can't do that. But I do think that that's what would be best for everybody. So that wouldn't just be good for you. That'd be good for the world. I mean, if you had any idea how many people are inspired by the fact that I don't have a smartphone. I don't know what it's like to beat the addiction of that though. So I, I couldn't help somebody that's trying to get over that. Because I don't think that all addiction is the same. I think that it affects the same part of your brain. It affects the, you know, the, the trauma, the part of you that's that's coping from whatever trauma you're trying to run away from, but it's not all the same. It's foolish to think that all things are the same, but it's also foolish to think that things are that different from one another, you know? I think that it helps people, you know, it like, especially with, you know, a 12 step cult, it's, 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 it's important that you go to the right cult. It's important that you surround yourself with people that have struggled with a specific thing that you're struggling with. You know,
know that's important to a lot of people. Um, because they they want something they can relate to. Because if they can't relate to it, why would they think that sobriety is even remotely achievable? So, um... Y'all know how I feel about 12-step programs. But if it helps, it helps. Don't listen to me. Listen to me if I make sense. Don't listen to me if I don't make sense. How about that? I know that I make sense to a lot of people, though. But they're all typically crazy.